Hello and welcome everybody. This is Roland from Graphic in Motion here on VideoHive. Thank you very much for purchasing my template. I hope you will enjoy it and that you really can enjoy it. I will just give you a brief introduction how to use it. Let's get started. If you open up the project file, you should see something like this. The three most important compositions are already open. We have the Your Logo Here composition, the Your Slogan Here composition and the render composition. So I think you know what to do here. In the first one you import your logo and place it. In the second one you edit your slogan and the third one is this composition where you can render out the finished animation. So I will just guide you quickly through these three steps. At first we want to import a logo so we are double clicking in the project area or just selecting file import, import file, and then navigate to your folder, search a logo, which you like. I will just take this one as an example now, and I will just drop it on top of the Invato placeholder and disable that for a moment. You see it's quite big, so we will press S on the keyboard and F4 to reveal the values, and I will scale it down to about, yes, 35 is good. Well, I see that the position is not perfect. I want to move it a little bit up that we have more room for the slogan here. So I just hold down shift and press the upper arrow key. Two times should be fine. We can always check the final position here and you see the position is good. Now we are going to enter our slogan. I don't know what you want to say, but I want to tell you, please don't forget to rate. So if you bought it, then please don't forget to rate it. Now we have to check the position of the slogan here. It's quite good, but it's a little bit far to the right. I want them to line up perfectly here. Um, always make sure when you're checking the positions that you are really at the end of the animation, that everything is in the final position. So we are going back to our slogan composition and just move it a little bit to the left. Like this should be fine. And you see it lines up perfectly. I will just switch the resolution to quarter so that it's working a little bit better. Okay, that's more or less it. You know, everything else updates automatically. The particles take over the color from your logo and all the animation should work out fine. So if you really just want a very quick customization, you are done now and you just can render it out and then you have animation exactly like I did it. But if you want to change some more things, you can stay tuned and I will show you what you can do. For example, if you have a very light logo, you know, mine here is very dark, so the light background is perfect. But maybe yours is white or very bright colors, then you want to change the background to a darker color. And this is very easy also. You see that the whole animation consists of two compositions. There is the logo build up composition and there is the logo break apart composition. These are the two parts of the animation. So if you want to do any changes, then you have to enter these compositions and you can do that by just double clicking on them. We will start to change the background in the logo build up animation. So I double click this and now you see what I really did here. And to change the background, you just go down here to the BG light layer. This one is the light background. And there is another one called BG dark. This is the, the dark background uh, which I already created for you. You just have to disable the light one and enable the dark one. And you see now the animation is in front of a dark background. You also want to do it in the break apart animation, so go back to the render composition, double click on the logo break apart animation to open that one, and just make the same changes, disable the BG light, enable the BG dark, and you're done. You can import your white logo, whatever, and you see we have a nice contrast. 
What you also want to do maybe is to change the color of your slogan because now it's black and it should be some bright color. So we enter the US slogan here composition, select our text layer and just edit the color of the character. I just will pick the white here. And if you go back to the render, you can see now it's white. Okay, my logo is still a little bit dark, but if your logo is bright, then this is perfect for you. I will just change it back to the light background because it's looking better for me. And I will just change this one to black again. And I want to show you another thing that you might want to change. And this is the amount of particles that form your logo. So don't be surprised when you enter the logo build up animation and you just click through the animation, you will realize, well, something is wrong. This is moving in the complete opposite direction than it is in the render comp. And this is true because if you press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes, you see that there is a time remap going on because this is how I achieved this build up effect just by reversing a break apart animation. So don't be surprised if you enter the build up animation that the direction is reversed. But this is no problem for us. We just want to change the amount of particles. Maybe your logo is way bigger than mine or is a very thin and small logo. Then you want to increase or decrease the amount of particles which form it, that the look is really nice and consistent. I will just show you how to do this very quickly. We will search a frame where we can see our particles. Maybe, yeah, this is quite nice. And you see the true green layers here are the particle layers. The one is the particle build. These are the particles that rise up from the ground. If I disable them, you see they disappear. And the other ones are the particles which form the logo in the air. They're just floating in the air. You can see them here. There are not that many emitted now. Yeah, here you can see them better. Okay. So if we want to change the amount of these two layers, what are we going to do? At first, you select both layers and press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes which I set for these layers. And now we want to change the amount for particles per second. I have to press F4 that I can see the values and I will just narrow it a little bit that we have more space to work. Okay. So we move between these keyframes and you see the value is set to 50,000 and maybe your logo is a little bit smaller than mine. So we will change this amount to half of it. You just move with your arrow keys, the keyframe arrows to the previous keyframe. The first one is the zero keyframe, which just turns on the emitter. The second one is set to 50,000 and this is the one we want to change. So we put in here 25,000. And then we have to click to the next keyframe, which is also set to 50,000. And we also enter 25,000. Now you see the animation is much lighter and there are less particles. If you want to do the same for the logo particles, you just move to the first keyframe here. If I just zoom in, you can see there are always two. Here, the first one is the value and the second one is the zero keyframe which turns off the emitter. So we want to change the first value. Just move to the first keyframe, enter your 25,000 and everything updates and should be fine now. Of course, you can do the same thing in the break apart animation. So we just will close this down for now and move to our logo break apart animation composition. And we search a frame where we can see the particles this one is very nice. And now you can see that here there are also two particle layers. The one is the particle which are emitted from the logo to create the break apart effect. And the other one are the particles that are emitted from your slogan because this one breaks apart too. So if you want to change the amount, this is very simple. Just click, hold down shift, select both layers, press U on your keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. And you see 
again particles per second is the value you want to change you have to move to the first keyframe here and this is set to 50,000 maybe you want to reduce it so we let's say 25,000 again type it in click away and the same you can do here maybe your slogan is very short and you only need 15,000 here and now everything is updated okay that's more or less it for now if you have any further question please feel free to email me i really hope that you enjoy the template and that you create some nice animations with it have fun and see you next time